It's Christmas time for the beauty world. The Sephora Springs Savings event is here. You all can save up to 30% off during this sale. This sale could be overwhelming for some of you guys who just don't know what you should get. So I'm gonna make it easy for you guys by giving you my personal recommendations. Welcome back socialites. And if you're new here, I'm Ariel. I do mainly beauty videos, fragrance and lifestyle vlogs. So if those are the type of videos you're into watching, I would love for you to hit the subscribe button and come join the family. So the Sephora Spring Savings event is here. This is like the biggest sale in the beauty community, you guys. You receive 30% off of all Sephora Collection products, which Sephora Collection does have some amazing products. I do have a few videos up using nothing but Sephora brand products. So you can click on that link to check that out. And I'll also have them linked down in the description box. Now the sale does start on April the 5th and it goes on all the way through April the 15th. So on Sephora collection products, you get 30% off starting on the 5th and also on the 5th, the Rouge members, the Sephora Rouge members get 20% off of everything store wide. Now as a VIB member, you get 15% off starting on April the 9th, all the way through the duration of the sale. And if you're a beauty insider, meaning you've just signed up with Sephora, giving them your phone number or email address, you receive 10% off starting on the 9th as well, all the way through the duration of the sale on April the 15th. Keep in mind that everyone, regardless of your tier, receives 30% off of all Sephora collection products from the beginning of the sale on April the 15th all the way through the end of the sale. So we're gonna start off with skincare. I'm only gonna give you guys a couple options cause we'll be all day talking about skincare. So I'm gonna upload a separate video dedicated to my skincare recommendations, but I am gonna give you guys a couple. One is a product that I've told you guys about several times. I bought this product over and over and it's the Caudalie Vino Clean Moisturizing Toner. It has rose water in it. It's a gentle toner, it does a good job at balancing the skin back out. It's gentle enough that you can use it in conjunction with your AHAs and BHAs. It's just an all around great toner, you guys. So that's why I buy it so much. Another skincare product that I think is an absolute standout is the Clinique Repair Wear Laser Focus correcting eye cream. It's an amazing eye cream. Not only does it brighten your under eye and smooth it out, it just gives you a better look overall. If you were to wash your face and just put a little under eye and just go out, it just gives you a brighter, more youthful look. Over time, it just helps you to look more youthful. It's a great eye cream. It's my number one favorite. There are probably two or three eye creams that I love in Sephora, but this is number one, hands down. So moving on to primers. First primer I wanna recommend to you guys is the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. Now this is a primer that I would recommend for any skin type, right? It's a great primer. It helps your makeup to really stick on and last a lot longer throughout the day. And you get an overall smoother complexion with your makeup. I like the fact that this works for dry skin, oily skin, or any anywhere in between. Another primer that I really love is the Dior Forever Glow Veil Primer. This is one of those primers that gives you like that silky, luminous, almost glowy look, but not like glittery or shimmery, just a beautiful radiance to the skin. Now, one thing to note about this primer is it works best with a sheer to medium coverage foundation. So if you're a full coverage foundation girly, this will not really serve a purpose for you because you just cover it up with your foundation. But if you like skin tints or sheer to medium coverage, this is a beautiful, beautiful product. Now for the girlies with the dry skin, I do recommend the Refi Primer. This is that primer, like that roll on primer. This one does extend the wear of your makeup a few extra extra hours than what you'd get without a primer on. But I like the fact that it's hydrating so it's not gonna dry you out and it just keeps the skin looking supple throughout the day. 
This one's great for dry skin, but if you have oily skin, this one is not gonna work for you. It is gonna make you look kind of oily. Now there are two primers that I would highly recommend for my ladies with oily skin. One of them is the Danessa Myricks Universal Balm. It's like a balm-like texture. They're, they come in different shades, but the universal one is clear, so you can put whatever foundation on top that you want. It does have Upsolite technology in it, so as the day goes on, it keeps the skin even more matte therefore if you have dry skin you you have to stay away from this one it won't work at all but if you have really oily skin and you find that no primer works to control that oil this one will the last product is sort of like skincare but it's actually a serum that I put on before makeup and it's the Merit Great Skin Instant Glow Serum. So you put this on first and then moisturize and then your uh, foundation or you can put this on and just go with your foundation. It gives a beautiful healthy glow to the skin. You guys, this looks gorgeous. It dries fairly quick. So if you're somebody with dry or normal or combo skin, you'd be able to use this. And this is for the ladies that like that radiant supple look. So if you want a matte sort of finish to the skin, then this won't be for you. But if you like that sort of radiant, luminous look to the skin, this one's really nice. For foundations, this is always the hardest category because Sephora literally has endless options that are really, really good uh, for foundation. So um, for my full coverage girlies that like that flawless bead, full coverage, just picture perfect. I love the Charlotte's Beautiful Skin Foundation. You guys, this is just a gorgeous, product this is full coverage this is creamy smooth this is very long lasting and this is great pictures if you like more of that natural looking foundation that doesn't really look like you have foundation on but you have perfected skin um, but you also need to cover pigmentation the Lancome Tinty Doll Ultra Wear Care and Glow Foundation is just gorgeous literally melts into the skin has plumping ingredients in there so it makes your skin look a little bit more supple and youthful highly recommend for my ladies over 40 also the IT Cosmetics CC Cream Full Color coverage this is very similar to this except you get more coverage so if you're somebody that wants that same supple look that same plumping and long wearing but you need more coverage try the CC cream for it cosmetics full coverage it has SPF 50 in it excellent long-lasting full coverage product this wouldn't be any type of video if i didn't mention hoss labs you guys this is my number one favorite foundation this is the best of every world this works for dry skin oily skin anywhere in between this is hoss labs foundation they only have one foundation and by the way every shade that i use and anything i mentioned today will be linked down below in the description box so be sure to check that out but this is medium to full coverage this is flawless picture perfect never looks heavy a little bit goes a long way excellent formula all the hype that you hear about this is real now the next foundation is new to me you guys but i absolutely love it it's a creamier formula so i think it would be beautiful on dry skin but with a mattifying primer i think it would be excellent on oily skin girlies as well so it's the ami cole skin sticks beautiful formula blends out like a dream so if you're a beginner in makeup and you want something that virtually blends itself try out the ami cole sticks so this one's in the shade 230 so i use this one more so on the perimeters of my face or sort of like to bronze a little bit and then 240 is this one here which matches my skin tone perfectly if you have dry skin and you love a medium coverage a medium buildable coverage the laura mercier uh, this is the real flawless weightless perfecting foundation is perfect for dry skin 
it's beautiful you guys but if you have oily skin this is gonna get shiny over a few hours and I have a couple options for my ladies who like sheer coverage so the hourglass veil hydrating skin tint this is such a good product if you want that sort of sheer just even out the skin tone look I recommend this one and also the Fenty Beauty Ease Drop Foundation the liquid one is really good for that as well now if you're somebody that's looking for a one and done product and you prefer powder foundations my number one favorite powder foundation is the makeup forever powder foundation you wouldn't even be able to tell that you don't have a liquid on that's how flawless this powder is very little goes a long way so don't apply too much if you pack it on it's gonna look cakey just dust your brush in it and literally buff it in the skin and it's gorgeous. I do recommend that you use a mattifying primer with this one if you have oily skin. Now the Sephora Collection Powder Foundation is my second favorite. Very similar to the Makeup Forever. So especially if you're on a budget, remember you get 30% off of all Sephora brand products and it's already inexpensive. I think it's already 15 or 20 bucks. So if you're trying to save a coin, <laughs> this one is number two to that. With both of these products, I get a about five hours before I start to show shine so like I said be sure to use a mattifying primer moving on to concealer my favorite concealer is the Dior forever skin correct this is medium to full coverage blends like a dream it's buttery smooth has minimal creasing love this for dry skin oily skin or anywhere in between now if you're somebody that wants less coverage if you want sort of like that sheer to medium this is medium buildable so you can get full with two layers you can get medium with one and you can get sheer with like a dot and this is the Hoss Labs uh, Triclone Concealer excellent concealer for somebody who likes medium coverage or if you're looking for something that you can build up on your own without being too much all at once time it's hydrating but it's still really good for dry and oily skin this is a really good one and it has the least amount of creasing than any concealer in my collection moving on to blush <laughs> there's so many blushes I love it can honestly be a separate video uh, but I do want to recommend for those ladies who like sheer if you like a sheer blush that you could still sort of build up but it's not massive coverage at all it's just that sheer sheer effortless look I recommend the NARS afterglow liquid blushes these are really good just put about two swipes or three swipes on and blend it out it blends out really easily you get a beautiful color without it looking too heavy and it has a slight sheen to it so you don't need to apply a highlighter it's just for those quick effortless makeup days so I like the shade Dolce Vita, which is this shade here. It looks so beautiful on my skin tone, y'all. And then I got a deeper shade for when I wanted to show up a little bit more. And this one is the newest one in the shade Orgasm Rush. And I'll swipe that right next to it. Love these. Buttery smooth blend out. Now, if you like more pigmented blushes that really make more of a statement, but you can get sort of that lighter coverage with these two if you just use a tiny bit. And it's the Rare Beauty blushes. These are some excellent blushes, y'all. So I have the shade Happy. And then also the shade Love. With the Rare Beauty Liquid Blushes, I do recommend that you swatch it on something, maybe the back of your hand, and then tap your brush in the product and then put it on rather than just add it to your face first because it'll be a lot easier to blend out that way because these dry down. <laughs> so I do find that they're long wearing so they dry out uh, pretty quick on the skin. So apply with the brush off of your hand or a, you know, a palette first and then apply it to the skin but these are really good. Now for powder blushes, I love the Pat McGrath blushes. This one's in the shade Paradise Venus which is a gorgeous gorgeous terracotta color this is beautiful on african-american skin tones not patchy it's a smooth blend on the skin and then i also really love for like that everyday blush for powder blushes the pillow talk 
cheek to chic blush from Charlotte Tilbury. This is what it looks like. I typically use the outside shade, um, which is matte, but the inside shade does have a little bit of a sheen to it, which you could sort of use as like a blush topper, but this is a beautiful shade and a really great formula. Uh, the color works really well for dark skin. Now some new blushes to me, which is actually multi-stick that could be used on the cheek or the lip is the Ami Cole Desert Date Multi-Sticks. I'm actually wearing the shade spice today underneath my makeup it's like underneath the foundation and powder but this is spice blends out really even beautiful has a slight sheen I don't have any sort of um, highlighter products or shimmery anything or anything with a sheen other than this so it gives a nice sheen it blends out really easy these are beautiful on the skin and another one I have that's gorgeous as well is the shade flame and this one's it here so moving on to loose setting powders a staple is the Laura Mercier translucent powder y'all this just works for everybody it works for any skin tone it works for any skin type um, it photographs very well it doesn't leave any sort of cast on the skin no matter your skin color highly recommended and then I also have it it comes in a darker shade so if you're a little darker than me like this shade medium deep is a little too dark for my skin tone so if you're a little bit darker than me all the way to the deepest darkish skin shade try this one from Laura Mercier it's the same formula except a darker shade and it's an excellent product I do use this on my clients now a new favorite for me melt into the skin powder translucent powder is the Ami Cole skin melt loose powder literally melts into your skin not only can you use it to set under eye you can use it to set all over it does come in darker shades like the Laura Mercier one does if in case you guys want to try that out I hadn't tried those shades yet but this is beautiful I found, I can't even put this down lately this has been my go-to since I got it but it's an amazing powder and I highly recommend that you try it especially for somebody who's new to make makeup and you want something that's sort of effortless that you feel sort of blends on its own this is it and for my ladies who are looking for a translucent powder that's just virtually undetectable that doesn't even look like you set your makeup but at the same time it takes the shine away the say translucent powder is great for that this one's in the shade translucent medium it's a beautiful powder this is the most undetectable powder that I own I find that when you put it on it doesn't even look like you powdered your skin so this one's a really good one for that moving on to contour products my most used contour product would have to be the LYS cream contour stick blends out easy and it's just so convenient I find that just to swipe it on and blend it out it's just so convenient I use this this more than anything but I also really love the Huda Beauty cream contour this is the Tantour contour cream in the shade medium this is an even more blendable product but with this you know you have to dip in and then apply it to the face so I find myself not using it as much since I was introduced to the LYX but this is excellent and it blends out even more effortlessly than the LYS um, like I said this one's medium so this will cover a range of skin tones and if you like to use a powdered contour or powdered bronzer I do like the benefit one so this is a duo that came with a blush and the actual contour shade so I'll leave the shade in the description box because you can get this just singly by itself but this one's really smooth it's not patchy at all I really like this one for contour also for powder contour is actually just a setting powder the Sephora micro smooth powders this is like a setting powder for all over but I use the shade ebony to sort of contour or bronze with I'm actually wearing it today on the perimeter so you could also use this and two to save a little bit of money you guys because I think this one's like 15 or 20 bucks and you'll get 30% off so try using this in a deeper shade for finishing powders or for like a bronzer that has a bit of sheen to it I do recommend the hourglass powders they're ambient powders this one's my favorite shade which is in the color eternal light gives you such an effortless just beautiful um 
understated glow. You guys, this is so pretty on the skin, especially in like the spring summer months. I highly recommend this. This is a very high performing product that photographs so well. <laughs> when you put this on, it just makes you look expensive. You know what I mean? Like, dang, it looks like you got your makeup done professionally. This is a great product. I also have the mini in the shade Dim Light. So I apply this a little bit more strategically. I'm a little bit more heavy handed with Eternal Light. I can just sort of bronze all over with it. But this, I sort of save for the high points of the skin or maybe the nose or just like strategically, but this is gorgeous as well. So for pressed powders, which I'm actually wearing today, I set my whole face with is once again, the Sephora Micro Smooth Powder. It comes in a bunch of shades. I think this powder comes in like 30 shades or something like that, maybe even more. Um, so this is one of those powders you get in your specific skin tone. Um, it's not too heavy. You get about a medium coverage and it's just smooth and flawless with a natural finish so it's not ultra matte it's not dry looking it just gives you a very healthy radiant look to the skin without having a sheen to it and especially for the price now for my ladies that like more coverage if you like that beat face look and you want coverage then I recommend the NARS press powder this is their uh, soft matte press powder it gives you a soft matte look so it's gonna look a little bit more matte than what my makeup looks like today I wear the shade offshore this looks beautiful all over I know it looks a little pinky in the pan but on my skin it's like the perfect shade I think they have a shade darker and a shade lighter but this is a really good powder as well I usually use it when I'm wearing a more sheer foundation or skin tint another Another press powder that I would recommend is the Huda Beauty press powders. This is another one that comes in an array of tones, but it's a flawless powder. This one's in the shade Peach Pie. I use this more so as a finishing powder though. So I only use it in the inner corner for brightening and it does, it really brightens under eye and it really looks good. I also have the Cherry shade. I think it's called Cherry Blossom, which brightens even more, but it looks more like a, almost like a a pale a little pale under eye which looks great but that's when I want those um, more dramatic looks but if you want sort of brighten like what it looks like on my skin now that blends a little bit better for african-american skin tones you can even be quite a bit darker than me and this works out for you under eye so this is the easy bake um, and snatch powder from Huda Beauty and Peach Pie. And also a staple for me that I highly recommend, this is one that comes in different shades as well. You could get your skin shade to set all over, but I only use it inner corner under eye. And this is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. This one's in the shade two medium. I always get the small one because I only use it under eye and this small one probably lasts me usually like a, over a year. Um, so keep in mind with everything I'm talking about, you guys, if they have it in minis and you know you like to switch up, just get the mini and save half your money. But this is really good and it photographs very well and it always looks ultra smooth under eye. Just makes my under eye look really touched up and flawless. If you're still here and you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Now for eyeshadow, you guys, I'm gonna show you this Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadow palette, although this is is discontinued but I want to show you guys this pigment because all of her shadows are consistently great and I feel like nobody really talks about Charlotte Tilbury's eyeshadows they are excellent I'm just gonna swatch a few so you guys can see pigmented long lasting unique shades look at that and they show up gorgeous on bare skin. So I highly recommend any of Charlotte Tilbury's eyeshadows. And also I recommend Sephora's single shadows. They're palette shadows that come in a palette or sometimes hit or miss. Sometimes I get them and they're great and then others I'll get and they're just sort of like, eh, you know what I mean? But some of these single eyeshadows are excellent depending on the shades you get. So my favorite two is Choco Express. Almost Gives you like that wet sort of shadow look. I'm actually wearing it on my eyes today. And then this one's in the shade Milky Way. And this one is literally feels like butter and cotton. <laughs> 
and that's Milky Way. I'm wearing Milky Way in the lower corners at the bottom there, if you guys can see, but these just, y'all, especially Milky Way literally melts like butter. Look at that. And my favorite eyeshadow palette at the moment is the Patrick Ty Major Dimension 3 palette. Y'all, I fought myself. <laughs> the last sale, I ended up picking this up the last day of the sale after I had done all my shopping because I was like, $70? <laughs> Who's gonna pay that? But when I tell you so worth it, such amazing quality, so effortless, need no sort of base underneath. And it has neutral shades that you could get any daytime look, any nighttime look, they're all matte. And then on the end, it does come with two cream shades that you could use as liners or bases. Highly, highly recommend it. For eyeliners, you guys, the Sephora 12 Hour Colorful Crayon. So this one's in the shade Coconut, and I'm actually wearing it in my waterline today that sort of fleshy tone shade. This is the most long wearing eye coal in a nude shade that I have, or the, the most long wearing eye coal that I have, period. This was like the diamond in the rough that I found during the last sale and I recommended it to you guys. I can't say enough good things about it. Smooth and creamy, but super long lasting. Comes in array of colors. I may pick up more during the sale. And as far as like a felt tip liner for your top black liner, the Rare Beauty uh, Perfect Strokes liner pen. This is probably my most used um, liner for the top right now. Just so effortless, super dark black. It doesn't skip, it doesn't dry out. I've been having this since before the last sale. It's not dried out yet and it's my most used. Excellent product, especially if you like using like liner pens. And the last liner that I wanna recommend is the Tom Ford. So if you got a little extra coin to spend, this one may be worth it. This one has ultra precision. It has a really super sharp tip on it. This is when you want a longer wing, super sharp precision. And then the opposite end, which is why I really like this product, it has another end that's shorter. And I find this perfect for those who want like that sharp inner line here so you can get that sort of cat eye effect, but you need something shorter and sharper, or if you want even more precision, y'all, this, this is for the artist. This is for the inner artist in you. So if you could spend a little extra coin, I think this one would be worth it. So for lip products, I'm almost getting overwhelmed thinking about it because <laughs> there's so many that I would recommend. I'm almost thinking about doing a separate video of just lip swatches, like me not even going into detail, but just swatching them and letting you guys see what they look like and how they perform. So if you would like to see something like that, comment down below, let me know ASAP so I can get that done for you. So I'm gonna go over a few because this is gonna be a lot, y'all. So, so the Sephora Plumping Glosses. These are best of the best of the best, you guys. The color you see is the color you get. See how these won't even come off, y'all? <laughs> when I say long wearing, so we're gonna swatch over these cause that's not gonna come off, but long wearing glosses, they're thick, but they're not super sticky. So this one's in the shade seven. See how it has pigment to it? So the cool thing about these plumping glosses is what you see in here is what you get. It feels in the lips to look so smooth so you don't see those lines in the lip. It's just so high performing. These perform like a $40 gloss. And then this one's number eight, which is my favorite shade here. And number eight has little shimmers in it. So when it catches the light, it looks beautiful. I like wearing this to like dinners and stuff, but every day as well, but especially to dinners, because when the light hits you, see a little glimmer on the lip, it's just beautiful. My favorite lipstick in general at Sephora is Charlotte Tilbury's lipstick in the shade Pillow Talk. It's creamy, it's smooth, it makes your lip look smooth. The color is just so effortless. You see how it's like a your lip but better shade. Beautiful with your pink 
your mauve liners, your pinky, like deeper pink liners, your brown liners, and it goes with any look. If you wanna do a purple eye look or a bold blush or bold eyes or whatever look you wanna do, this works. So that's why this is my favorite and my go-to. And the formula is good, it's smoothing and it's long lasting. Now the Sephora collection, they have these matte liquid lipsticks. These are iconic, you guys, so good. My favorite two shades is one and 94. I wore these two, this as the liner and this as the lip color in the middle throughout the whole Christmas holidays. <laughs> Y'all, I wore it throughout the whole Christmas holidays. Gorgeous, gorgeous combo. It dries to an ultra matte finish that gives you the most Hollywood glam look. So I do have a reel up if you, I mean, I do have a short, like a YouTube short up using this and you can see the dry down. So look through my shorts and see if you can find it because it's the dry down on this. When this dries completely all the way down, the ultra matte look is, people stop me and ask what I'm wearing when I wear these two. Like when I'm in the store, people stare like, oh my God, it's that show stopping beautiful and affordable. I think these are like 10 bucks and you get 30% off of the $10. So check these out. And I, and the shade range they have in these is like, I think they have like 20 or 30 shades in these to choose from. The Hourglass Lip Balms, these have like sheer color to them. So this is just for that everyday effortless wear or for those who don't like too much color on the lip, but you want like a shine or a sheen and it's super comfortable. So this one's in the shade Mist, which is a soft, soft pink. So just so you guys can see, and don't twist it up too much because it's really balmy, like really creamy and melty. So that's mist up there. Very, very creamy. It's just like a balm or a gloss. And then I also have it in the shade Lucid, which is more so like an orangey shade. And this looks so good on my lips. So just for those effortless, you know lip looks or when you don't have on makeup or if you have on minimal makeup or like concealer and mascara, these are really good for those days. For lip oils, I love so many, but we're just gonna talk about two. Like I said, I may do a separate video for lip products because y'all, this is only the tip of the iceberg what I'm showing you guys. So the Clarins lip oils, y'all, they're just clear lip oils, but it has a super high shine to it. Uh, this the, the yellow, but it looks clear. The pink one has a little bit more pigment to it, which is my favorite. I'm actually getting a full size of the pink one during the sale. Love the Clarence lip oil, especially that pink one. It's, you gotta try it. And then to me, the best formula in a lip oil, period, is the Dior lip oil. It's, it's nothing like it. The hype you hear about it is absolutely real you guys super shiny looks great on top of your other lipsticks looks great on its own it's just a great non-sticky product and then a newer lip oil to me which i've fallen in love with which is the most unique lip oil formula that i have is the ami cole lip oil and this one is in the shade bliss i also have excellence which is a little bit darker of a nude shade than this um, it has a tiny bit of pigment on but it's really thick and it looks like a gloss but it's not sticky these are really really good i like it for lip liners i do recommend these sephora collection lip liners i'm actually wearing the shade molasses today which is this one and i do have a full uh, makeup tutorial up of this look you guys this is using mostly sephora brand products so you can click on that link right there to check it out but this is molasses which is a deep dark brown super smooth and creamy to apply and then this one's in the shade rosewood i have several colors of these but these are my most used so that's rosewood now if you're looking for a long wearing pencil where you can eat all day and don't have to worry about it coming off and you're or if you're somebody that sips on a drink all day the coffee drinkers or smoothie drinkers um hourglass the new hourglass pencils are the most long wearing pencils highly recommend them also for brides so this one's in the shade silhouette 
they don't come off y'all and then this one is in the shade candid excellent creamy formula move fast because <laughs> they dry and don't they don't budge once they dry so if you're somebody that likes to blend out your lip line because oftentimes i like to apply my lip liner and get a lip brush and fade it out so with this you'd have to do it in sections like I'll do the top lip and then fade it out and then do the bottom lip and fade it out that's how much these don't budge now there are quite a few mascaras that i would recommend but my top two would have to be the ysl lash clash the hype you hear is very real i have tiny lashes and this really gives me volume and length super black this is a really great long lasting formula and then the fenty beauty uh hella thick mascara this is my most used mascara so i'm on my second tube of this and this when you want that volume and you want your lashes to look thick then this is it but if you want more so like separation but you can build the volume then i will recommend this but if you just want that thick lash look then this is it setting sprays so these help your makeup to last a lot longer throughout the day and just helps your makeup to melt in the skin these are my favorite two. I can't pick which one I like best because they're both excellent. So this is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. This is the big jumbo size, which is the 200 mil. <laughs> this is huge, y'all. And then the LYS Natural Finish. This one really mattifies. So if you see a little bit of shine on your face throughout the day, you can spray this and it's gonna mattify your face and make it more long lasting. This is excellent. Highly recommend both of them though. So let's talk a little bit about brushes. This one's the Sephora Collection number 64 brush, which is one of my favorite foundation brushes. And I also really love the Sephora number 88 brush. So they're both really great brushes for foundation now to apply blush i like the uh, sephora collection pro 56 brush and the 47 so this is the 56 and then the 47 has that angle 47 is here with the angle and this one's the 56 so one of my favorite eyeshadow blending brushes is the sephora collection number 27 brush excellent for blending shadow and it's the perfect size but there are actually a ton of brushes that i would recommend from sephora collection but i only recommend the sephora brushes from their sephora pro brush line those are the best of the best brushes they're a little bit more expensive as far as the brushes in sephora so keep in mind you get 30 percent off of sephora collection which does include those pro brushes so i do recommend that you guys take advantage of this sale and try at least a couple of their pro brushes also before we get out of here i do want to suggest that you guys go on the sephora site and click on sets and check out any sets that may interest you because you get a really good bang for your buck when you get like pro brush sets or even fragrance sets or skincare sets a lot of, a lot of the times you get a huge discount on those sets on top of whatever your tier of discount is so i do recommend that but when i do my wish list or what i plan to pick up from the sale i'll probably have a few in there that i personally plan on picking up and the minis you guys if you're somebody that collects makeup or likes to try what's new or if you have makeup in your collection that's unused if you don't have to get the full size don't so check on the minis tab and see what comes in mini and just save money and product that way if i would have put everything that i liked on this video we would have been here for two days <laughs> so i had to narrow it down i do have more videos up tons of videos up of sephora sale recommendations that are still very much relevant so i'll link them in the description box in case you guys want some more content to narrow down your options hopefully this video was helpful you guys and you enjoyed it if you did go ahead and hit that thumbs up button everything i use today including the shades i wear will be linked down below in the description box keep in mind they are affiliate links 
So I do want to encourage you to click on those links. I enjoyed being here with you guys today. This is one of my favorite videos to film for the year. Well, I do two of these a year. This is one of my favorites. So I enjoyed y'all. If you're new here, welcome. I would love for you to hit the subscribe button and come join the family. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Cause I've been where you are Not too scared to show me love Cause too fresh with the scars But I don't have the answers